The question of how a young goalie should train off the ice is one that comes up very often, and my answer is simple. They shouldn't train off the ice. Let me explain what I mean by that. I don't think young goalies should be encouraged to spend time in the gym or follow a specific strength conditioning program. Instead, I think they should play a variety of different sports and have other interests outside of hockey that make them a more well-rounded athlete and person. Hockey should be fun for kids, and if you push them to do something they don't want to do, like spending time in the gym, then I think that will backfire. I don't think they'll get the benefits that they're looking for from doing that kind of training, and I also think that they're more likely to burn out and lose interest in hockey. A great quote I read years ago in a Dan Bosma book said basically that your child won't make the NHL because of what you do for them, but in spite of what you do for them. And to me, that means that you can try to do all kinds of things and develop a hockey player from a young age, but really it comes down to many other things like luck and opportunity and talent and genetics and work ethic and really how much they want it. So I don't think you can try to force this perfect hockey player on someone who's developing. I think instead it's better to try to build a well-rounded person and well-rounded athlete. And then when the time comes to specialize in hockey, if the interest is there, then they can do so that way. What I think young goalies should do instead is play as many different sports as possible to develop their athleticism. A young goalie shouldn't be going to goalie school year round. They should spend the summer playing baseball, soccer, tennis, or just running around with their friends. Get them to be active and outside. I don't believe in this idea of building a hockey player. I believe in building an athlete from a young age that can choose to specialize in hockey when the time comes in the teenage years. If you look around the NHL, you'll see many examples of hockey players that excelled in different sports growing up. So Anders Lee was a star high school quarterback. John Tavares was great at lacrosse. And I think that having this foundation of different sports and athleticism from a young age really helped make them better hockey players. And I think you'll see that that's common in high level athletes. Even Russell Wilson in the NFL, he, I believe, was drafted into Major League Baseball. And I think this exposure to different sports and getting out of your specialty, like your special sport, I think there are a ton of mental and physical benefits to that. If you want to develop a great goalie, develop a healthy, active person. That means going outside, getting fresh air and sun, playing different sports and moving in more natural ways than what we do on the ice especially as goalies. And if you or your young goalie love other sports, then that's great. Playing baseball develops a great glove hand. Tennis builds endurance, agility, hand-eye coordination, and power. And soccer builds speed and fantastic cardio. You'll find benefits in any sport you play. And any activity really can build and strengthen connections between neurons, improving your reaction time and cognitive ability. I think the best type of training for a young goalie is a non-focused, non-specialized, participation in different sports and activities. We should also mention the concept of burnout. And I personally knew many people that played hockey and were great at it from a young age, but they reached about 14, 15 or 16 and the interest for it just wasn't there anymore. They were burnt out probably from playing too much, playing year round and not being able to engage in other activities outside of hockey. Hockey started to feel like a job. And I think that's even more common these days. You'll see there are many hockey camps. There's a lot of activity in the summer. There's not really a break from hockey. It's year round and it's just gotten more and more competitive and you kind of feel like that's what you have to do to keep up. So I understand the concern there, but I think at a young age, you're much better off playing different sports and doing other things outside of hockey because that helps you keep the passion for the game. And I think if you took a few months off in the summer, when September comes around and the season starts again, then that interest is there and you're really excited to play again. And I think that helps make hockey more fun, which is what it's supposed to be. And it helps avoid that risk of burnout later uh, as you get a little bit older and maybe you lose that passion for the game because you played it too often. I think it's much more preferable to play hockey in the fall and winter. And then when the spring and summer come around, take a couple months off the ice, do something different, play in a soccer league or just play pickup sports. Don't necessarily engage in something that's structured. I don't think you need to be in the gym at a young age. I think you just need to get different types of movement and play different sports and expose yourself to different types of movement in those sports. Tennis, for example, you're doing different things than you would on the ice, same thing with basketball. And I think just getting out there, doing something that's not hockey, especially at a young age, will build this foundation of athleticism and will make a better hockey player when the time comes to specialize in hockey. Now, if you are a young goalie or the parent of a young goalie that really wants to spend time in the gym and wants to work out, then I think that's absolutely fine. I think as long as the interest is there, then you're good to do it because when you're motivated, you'll get better results 
and you will be less likely to uh, lose interest in playing hockey. So you can really do anything that an older goalie would do in the gym. I think if you want to do plyometrics, sprints, running and even weight training I think is absolutely fine. I just think it makes sense to do it under the supervision of somebody qualified who can watch your form and make sure you don't injure yourself. But yeah, if the passion is there, if you wanna do it, absolutely you can follow a strength conditioning program. I just think there are a lot of physical and mental benefits to instead of just training in the gym, to playing different sports that build these capabilities without even thinking about it. I don't think we should underestimate the power of games to build an athlete, and this type of unstructured play is really important in developing athleticism. I don't think you need to follow a certain number of sets and reps, and I think instead of trying to train something, I think you should engage in sports that train those abilities without feeling like training. So I mentioned soccer before, that's a great way to build your foot speed and your conditioning and your coordination and body control. And it's not a specific drill, you're just playing a sport, you're chasing a ball and you kind of turn off your brain and you just re rely on instinct, which is really important and not only for burnout, but I think also for developing your athleticism and your instinct to and your instinct when you play other sports so in summary my advice and it's just my opinion of course but i think young goalies should instead of thinking that they need to follow a rigid strength conditioning program instead i think they should play different sports do things that are not hockey take a break from hockey or at the same time as your season if you can play other sports um, if you have the time i think that's really beneficial i don't think at a young age say like under 13 you need to be in the gym lifting weights or following anything too strict i think just playing different things really any sport anything you do will improve your um, cognitive abilities and reaction time and athleticism. I think that's really important and I think that's what you should be focusing on instead. Then when you get to maybe 13, 14 and you want to specialize in hockey, that's when you can really do that. You can go to more uh, on ice instruction, you can get a trainer and follow something specific. I think at that point it makes sense, but from a young age, I think you'll get more physical and mental benefits from just playing and doing different things. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment below and make sure you check out our Instagram and TikTok pages and the goalie programs we have at the link in the description below.